The Maryville Serial Shooter, also known as the Serial Street Shooter, is a still identified serial spree killer active in Phoenix, Arizona, from 2015 to 2016. He has been linked to 12 shootings, 9 of which were fatal. In April 2017, a young man named Aaron Sosta was arrested on charges of killing the first victim of the series, and is currently awaiting trial on charges of perpetrating the entire killing spree. From August 2015 to July 2016, for almost a year, the city of Phoenix, Arizona, was affected by a series of seemingly random shootings, which mostly occurred in Maryville, an urban village. The shooter approached his victims, either by foot or by car, and shot them at close range. By the time of the last known shooting, nine people were dead, and at least two of them had been injured by gunfire. At first, the authorities investigated the incidents individually, though they later linked all the cases together and formed a task force in order to catch the so-called serial street shooter. Witness reports described the killer as being a lanky dark-haired, Ladino man in his 20s, as well as driving by the black balloon and a white Cadillac of Lincoln. Though deemed unlikely, police could not exclude the possibility of multiple individuals being behind the murders, as more than one person was seen walking away from at least them crime scenes. A composite sketch of the shooter was also released. Eventually, on April 22, 2017, 23-year-old Lachner and Sasta was arrested on charges of murdering the first fatal victim of the series, 61-year-old Roll Romero, who was also a friend of his ma. Now an M point pistol, and by Sasta was confirmed, by ballistics experts, to be the same weapon that killed Romero. Also, Sasta bore a resemblance to the composite sketch of the serial shooter, and drove a Black Blue 5 Series 7, Exactly the same type of car reportedly driven by the killer, after he was pointed out in a lineup by a surviving victim of the series, Sosta was charged with all the other murders, attributed to the Maryville serial shooter, to which he pleaded not guilty. He is currently waiting trial. The shooter approached his victims and shot them at close range with a semi-automatic pistol. In some occasions, he committed drive-by shooting. In at least two instances, he yelled at his victims to make them watch as he was going to shot them, which seems to be part of his signature. Former FB profiler Brad Garrett profiled the shooter as being a thrill killer seeking intimacy in his close range attacks. He also claimed the attacker wanted to inflict as much fear as possible in his victims by making them watch as he shot them. While it was deemed unlikely by him that he had accomplices, Garrett said, it would be an explanation for his apparent access to multiple vehicles, based on witnesses' recollection. Former FB profiler Brad Garrett profiled the shooter as being a thrill killer seeking intimacy in his close range attacks. He also claimed the attacker wanted to inflict as much fear as possible in his victims, by making them watch as he shot them. While it was deemed unlikely by him that he had accomplices, Garrett said, it would be an explanation for his apparent access to multiple vehicles, based on witnesses' recollection.